sound test mic sound check hey what's up guys learning with rich here so for today's topic we are going to discuss some of the editing tools that you can use in dynamo okay so for this topic we are going to learn how to translate rotate and mirror our objects okay translate it's like move in autocad or revit so here in dynamo we call it translate all right, so let's get started. So as you can see here, I have some basic um, uh, curves here. So I have square, so I have rectangle. So we already discussed this before. So for example, here on my square, so I created four points. Okay, and then I used these two numbers, 0 and 5, to create these uh, points here. Okay, so I also use the create a uh, list create node here for me to be able to combine all of these points to create this polygon here. Same with my rectangle here. Okay, so these are the points, these are the values, and then to combine them to create a polygon by point, so I use here a list. Alright, and then after that, if you want these two objects to be combined. Like, for example, if you select this one, as you can see, it's both combined. So all you have to do is to create another uh, list, okay? You can create another two, li uh, two item. This is your item one. This is your item two. And then it will be uh, combined here in this list. So that if you select this one, so both will be selected, okay? But if you want to select it separately, of course, you can click this one or this one. Okay, but I want it to be con uh, combined. Now, the first tool that we are going to discuss is translate. Okay, so I uh, like what I've said, it's the, uh, it's like move in Revit or AutoCAD. All right, so here on my geometry library, so I'm going to expand that. I, I select modifiers for geometry. So as you can see, there's a translate here. So we have several tools here to translate our uh, our model. All right. So for this one, I'm just going to use translate direction. So it's translate geometry in the given direction by the vector length. So I'm going to select this one. Okay. So for this one, as you can see, we have here two input. So we have geometry and direction. Okay. So for the geometry, all we have to do is to select this one. Okay, so we want these two geometry to be translated, so I'm going to connect that there. Now, for the direction, okay, so for the direction, if you're going to hover your pointer, as you can see, it's called uh, vector. Okay, so it's called vector there. So it's looking for vector, which is a data type that we haven't really talked about much in detail. So basically, vectors are most frequently used to specify a direction. Okay, so it's like uh, pointers. So the vector tells the geometry where to go. Okay, so if you are going to search here on our library, so I'm going to look for uh, vector. So we will be using here our vector by coordinates all right this one so i'm going to use this one vector by coordinates x y and z so i just click this one and there you go so i'm just going to move it here move it here all right so we need to specify here the value of x y and z okay so for this one i'm going to use a number so I'll just click this our good old guy number so that, let's just type number and then just click I'm going to key in I'm going to place three times okay click three times to place three numbers all right so it's up to you what's the value that you want so for example uh, I'm going to make it 10 uh, 20 or 5 something like that so that will be the direction of my X for example 10 points 20 points for my Y and five points for my Z. What? All right. So you cannot uh, watch the preview of your vector by coordinates. Okay. So you can't use uh, watch node. 
Okay, so if you're going to try that, if you want to see, watch. All right, and then connect this one. You will not be able to see that, although you can see here the value of your vector, okay, as well as the length. So your vector has its own length. Okay, so always remember that. But you cannot see here the direction of your vector. Now, for you to be able to do that, I'm going to uh, remove this one. You can do this workaround. You can type line start this one. Line by start point direction length. Okay, so you can use this to visualize your vector for you to be able to see it. So I'm going to click this one. Right? So it's asking for a start point. So where's your start point? So let's say you want to put that at the at the origin here. So I'm just going to search here. Okay, so this node called origin. So just need to click that. Okay. And then I'm going to connect this. There you go. Alright, and then for the direction, if you hover your pointer here, it's asking for a vector. Okay, so we already have the vector here. So you just need to connect that there. Okay, so as you can see, after we place our vector, it already created the line here. Okay, by default. Okay, so by default, there is a length already specified to your line here. Okay. So the default length there is 1, okay? But like what I have said, your vector has its own length, okay? As you can see, it has its own length. Now, if you want to show here the length of your vector, not the default value of 1, what you can use is you can key in here vector length, okay? vector length so you just click that one so here's your vector length let us just uh, adjust this one first all right okay so i'm going to move this one here all right so we have the vector already here so I'm going to connect this, all right, and then I'm, do I'm going to connect this double here. So as you can see, it's now adjusted. So it now shows here the length of your vector. Okay, don't be confused. This is not actually the vector. This is a line, okay? So this is just the direction of your vector. So we have used this node for us to be able to visualize the direction of your vector but this line is not a vector it's a line okay okay then after that let us now connect our vector here let's try to move this away <clears throat> okay so i'm going to connect now my vector to this one okay so as you can see it's now created here the translated objects okay all right okay okay so the translate command here it doesn't actually moves the object but aside from that it also creates a copy okay so it creates a copy so it doesn't only move the object but it's actually creating a copy of the original geometry and then move it to your specified uh, direction okay of course if you want to hide this geometry here you can always hide the preview you can click that right click and then you can hide that if you want okay you can hide the the, the preview okay but let us not do that one okay so now that we have learn how to use the translate tool okay so let us try to move on to the next uh node okay so let us try to group this first so i'm going to select these nodes here Control g for group and then let's call this translate all right so that's how you translate your object so i use geometry translate 
and then I connected my geometries here and then the direction okay so it's asking for vector so I have used three numbers here to specify the vector as well as the direction and then this is just your the node that you can use to visualize where's the direction of your your vector but this is not actually your your vector this is just the direction because this is a line all right and after that so let's move on to our next node which is rotate okay so rotate so i'm going to use now here rotate so i'm going to go to geometry library modifiers um let's look for geometry and then again we have here two ways to create to rotate our object okay so for this one i'm going to use uh this one rotate origin axis and degrees so i'm going to click this one there you go so it has four inputs okay so it has four inputs of course the geometry we already have the geometry so i'm going to connect the geometry this one so that's the geometry so that's the geometry that we want to rotate and then the origin okay so for the origin so you can uh, you can use the origin of your of your point here for example this one so you can use this origin okay click okay and then for the axis we can search for vector x axis there you go and we can also use the z-axis for example if you want you can also use the y-axis so let us just use here uh, x and y so that you'll be able to visualize how what's the difference between x-axis and z-axis okay of course when you say x-axis it will rotate along x-axis the other one z-axis it will rotate along z-axis so let's try to use first x-axis here so let's connect and then let's specify the degree so for this one we need a number here so we need a number number there you go so for the number uh, let's use a slider all right so let's remove this one so let's use a slider so for the minimum let's say i want minus 360 and then the maximum is 360 there you go and then there's your there's your number slider now okay and then i'm going to connect this node here on the degrees okay there you go so if i'm going to slide this as you can see there you go right can you see it okay it rotates now along x axis so if i'm going to change that with the c axis okay so there's the z axis this one this uh vertical line here that's the z-axis so as you can see it will be rotated along z-axis so if you want to try y-axis so it's up to you so you can type vector y-axis <clears throat> vector y-axis there it goes so there's my y-axis so let's connect that to that axis so as you can see it's like that okay all right so if these two objects are the one that you want to rotate so you need to change the geometry so you need to disconnect this one okay and then you can use this one okay the one that we use for translate so you can connect that there all right there you go all right okay okay so but we're not going to use here x and y so i want to use the z-axis there you go so let's remove our x just delete that one and then our y all right so this one so there you go okay so as you can see using the z-axis it rotates along this vertical line here so that's the z-axis now if you want to rotate your object at the center of this two um two geometry okay if you want to rotate the copied elements at the center of this two origin uh two geometry here 
So you need to change the the origin. Okay, so you need to change the origin because right now the origin that we are using here is at the zero comma zero comma zero. Okay, so if you want to change that and then you want to use the origin of this or the center of these two geometry so you need to change that one so instead so what you can use is you can use polygon center okay so you can look for polygon center here this one or you can find it at the geometry curves and then look for polygon and then you can see there the center so you can click that all right so the geometry that we want is this one so i'm going to connect this to that so as you can see it's now specified here the center of these two geometry so let us now connect this point to that origin okay so let's connect that to this origin all right as you can see it's now there so if i'm going to slide this so it's now rotating at the or at the center of that two origin there at the two center of the geometry there okay okay so it's something like that okay so you can use polygon center okay to specify the center of the polygons all right so that's for our mirror so probably let's group this select these nodes control g and then let's call this rotate all right so that's for our rotate here okay now for the last tool which is mirror okay the tool that we're going to use here is mirror okay so let's look for where uh geometry modifiers geometry let's look for mirror this one just click this one all right, so this is now our mirror. Okay, mirror. So we need the geometry here again. So we can use this geometry that we have on our translated here. So the geometry, which is this geometry here. So I'm going to connect it here. All right, so now the mirror plane. Okay, so that is what we're going to do next. Okay, the plane. Okay. So here we can see that on our geometry mirror, we have two input, geometry and uh, mirror plane. So geometry, which again will be on our list, that is what we have selected. And the mirror plane, which is if we hover, so as you can see the input here, it should be a plane, plane data type. So the plane is another geometry data type that we are seeing for the first time in this video. So a plane is like a flat surface. You know the reference plane in in Revit. Okay, it's like a flat surface that extends infinitely in all direction. Okay, so just like in Revit, we have a reference plane. Here you have a plane. Okay, so in Dynamo, this is represented, of course, by a square. Okay, in Dynamo's geometry preview. So that will be our uh, our uh, plane, okay? So that's our geometry now. So we need our plane here. So what we can do, let's look for a node that we can use to specify our uh, plane here. So I'm going to type here plane, and then let's look for plane by origin normal. So it creates a plane centered at root point with input normal vector so i'm going to click this one there you go so as you can see there's the preview of our plane here so let's try to change the so we can see all right so there's the preview of our uh, plane okay so for the origin okay so we need to specify the origin so let's say i'm going to use the origin all right so origin Okay, so I'm going to connect that origin. Okay, and then for the normal, okay, so if you're going to hover your pointer, okay, so normal, the input should be a plane. Okay, so that's the input for our uh, normal. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to use another node. 
So the node that we are going to use here is our vector. Okay, so we need to specify our vector here. Okay, as you can see, the input should be a vector. So let's use the vector that we have created a while ago. So where is that vector? Okay, that vector is this one. All right, so vector by coordinates. So I'm going to connect that vector that we have created a while ago. And then connect that to our normal, which is asking for a vector. Just click that. And then there you go. So as you can see, the orientation of our uh, plane has now been changed. Okay? So it's now changed. So that is what will happen. So whenever you specify your plane, when you connect that to your vector plane, so it will be perpendicular to your uh, vector direction. The plane is now perpendicular to your direction. So as you can see, it's a uh, 90 degree angle with the vector from all sides. So this is the definition of a normal that we have used here. So it's a direction that perpendicular in all three dimensions to a point on a surface or a plane. Right? So as you can see, our plane here is perpendicular to the direction of our vector. Okay, So that will be our mirror plane. So if we are going to connect now our plane here, okay, let's connect that. There you go. So it's just created our uh, object. So let's change our background to 3D and let's look for that mirror object. There you go. So there's the mirror object. So we have mirror the geometry here using this mirror plane, and then this is the output. Okay, there you go. Okay, so mirror. So there you have it. So we have now three editing tools that we can use. So this is our uh, mirror. Mirror. Okay, so we have what? Translate. Translate, Rotate, and Mirror. So these are the nodes that I have used for the Translate. Okay, And then for the Rotate. And then for the Mirror. So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. I know it's a very simple tool, but it will help you whenever you create your object. It will help you, like for example, you want to create some uh, organic building elements that you want to use the sweep you want to create the 3d model all right so you can use this tool to modify your your geometry okay so we just discovered as well a new data types two new data types which is vector and a flame okay plane in this uh, lesson all right so if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can always put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can okay once again thank you for watching guys have a nice day